This is my last day in the countryside and I can now reveal something else about what I've been doing. I didn't want to say anything at the beginning of um, the series of reports. Firstly, there was a whole business with being banned off YouTube, which is of course ridiculous. Um, and secondly, I, I wanted to escape. And I wanted to escape with the lovely Julia and a couple of her kids. Um, well, her only kids, of course, her two, her two boys. And we've come to Dora's Dairy. And we've actually been working on the farm really hard um, to escape the dairy farm down in Wiltshire. And I didn't want to say anything, uh, mainly because John, whose farm it is, said probably best not mention anything. He didn't really want people coming up to see if I was OK and all those sort of things. So we, we just thought we'll keep it vague. So apologies for not actually revealing the true nature of it, although it has been time to sit and contemplate and talk about what is important in life and the things that mean. But um, working on the farm has been absolutely fascinating for a week, bringing the cows in. There's a lot of walking about on a dairy farm, chasing the cows and bringing them in. We've had vets come and do TB tests. We've um, cleaned out the pigs. I've been actually in the pig house, um, which is a low house, cleaning out the pig. And I can tell you the smell of ammonia from the pigs is quite disgusting. But fortunately, I had a cold and could not smell anything. John can't really stand it. So he uh, you know, relies on other people coming to help. Although he has to do it, of course. It's like all these things. The farmer has to do all the shitty jobs when uh, nobody else is around. Um, what else would be milking, of course, which has been an absolute joy. And these beautiful animals, these ruminant animals that have uh, been um, in the field surrounding us have been just wonderful. Um, I used to be incredibly um, unusual to think now. I used to be quite scared of cows. Um, they are, I mean, I'm not saying I would be uh, not wary, of other people's cows in other farms and things, but these cows, they are very sedate and they're, they're beautiful animals. And um, you, you bond some form of relationship with them when you're milking them. Clearly, that human contact all the time, stroking them as you've put the clusters on and, and the milk is being taken. And not all of them are milk because they're on calf and some of them have, the calves have taken most of the milk. So you, you know, you take what, what is left, the surplus as it were. And it's, it's a very great symbiotic relationship. Of course, I've also been drinking a lot of raw milk, which has been really, really nice, creamy, beautiful. There's some wonderful Jersey and Guernsey cows here, as well as many others. Um, and so the milk quality is just amazing. Um, We've, uh, I'm just trying to think of all the other things. There's so many little jobs that you do, filling up the milk bottles, filling up, moving the churns. Um, it's just had a full on week, really, of farming experience. Now, why is this relevant in the channel where I'm talking about the conspiracies and the, the, the troubles of the world and all of that? Why is this relevant? I think now that we've seen where the politics is going, we've seen that actually we knew all along, did we not really, that um, it was a foregone conclusion that, that people went to the polls and we knew that people are still pretty docile and will do as they're told and vote the way they're supposed to vote. Um, and Or it will be drawn that that is the way that people have done it, whether there was actually only 48% turnout or whatever it is. I'm really, I haven't been following it and I didn't want to follow it because it's theatre. It's all theatre. People led to believe that they could make a difference. As they say, if, if uh, voting mattered, they wouldn't let you do it. And we know that's true. And, and yet people still have, but in a way you've got to let people eventually find out the futility of such a thing. We are going to see the beginnings of that separation I was talking about in the one of the other videos. So we're definitely going to see that. People are fed up. They're not going to put up with Labour's policies, which are more stringent and more aggressive than the Conservatives, of course. And neither of the parties stand for what their original origins are. We know that too. 
And we know that uh, Starmer is well in with the WEF and the WHO and the, the, the um, Davos lot. Um, and we know that these people are pulling the strings and this is all part of the plan that slowly they will get us into these entrapment zones, the 15 minute cities, and we'll see more of that. So as those that are aware of the great harms and those that have been awake to all the nonsense from 9-11 and JFK and moon landings and so on and so forth, who've been open to all of this, we'll start to realise just how important it is to get into the communities. And learning about the most important thing, and that is growing food or animal husbandry, is going to be the most useful skills that all of us will have for the thing that combines the whole of us, that, that, uh, that we all share, is we need to put nutrients into our mouths. There's no other way. People who love to drive f flash cars and have all the materialistic things and thinks they can just go to a supermarket and, and be supplied with food, you, they're going to have to think again because the food in the supermarkets is, is changing all the time. Less nutrients, less good for you, more artificial, more GM, more uh, poisons, effectively. And unless you are responsible for yourself, unless you take back those responsibilities, which is what I've been saying, what are we going to do? And if you're going to have a community, we've seen people try these communities, and they're not used to it, they don't know how to work because there's too many bloody egos and they're all pulling and people are investing in a bit of land with a number of other people and going, well, hang on, I put money into this and you're not doing it the way I want to do it. We're going to find this whole process very difficult. But the ones that will survive are the ones that know how to farm. And that's what we've all got to learn. We've moved away too much from the land. Now, that's not to say we've all got to get back on the, on the land, but we've all got to get back into that mode of being a cohesive, united group. Whether that's in little groups, in little places, people in the forests, people in the, in the farms, we're going to have to do something because I don't think humanity is going to tolerate what the uh, so-called elites, the people who like to be in charge, who should never be in charge, who won't be in charge for too much longer, want. And we've got to do something. If we don't do something now, when the hell are we going to do it? When it's too late and we're, we're weak and impotent and unable to move and we're locked up and we're tagged and all of that, if people can't see that coming, they are blind. And I know they're blind. And also they've been inseminated with something that these electronic towers are going up, which we've been talking about and laughed at by many. But at what point does the laughter stop when you find yourself trapped and you're still listening to the propaganda being spewed out of that one-eyed machine in the corner of the room? Not so much in the corner of the room. Most people have got bloody great big cinematic one-eyed things telling them how to live, how to run their lives, what to do. You've got to get out. You've got to escape to the country to understand those things that really matter. And if you don't, well, you're lost. You're just lost. But we still have that chance and I'm very positive because actually I think we are now at the bottom and you get to that point where you go rock bottom and the only way is up. So let's all get up off our backsides. Let's all now, before it's, before we can't, let's just get up and get on with it. We know what we've got to do. Many of us are the signposts for those that will slowly awake and be going, oh my God, I didn't see this coming. No, no, because you've been duped, you've been propagandized. But those of us who know it's now time to, to rise up, stand up for ourselves, and bloody well get on with it. Thank you for watching. I shall be back in the normal saddle doing the normal stuff, doing my best to give my thoughts. And remember, they're just my thoughts. You can disagree. I don't mind at all. You may have your own version of what we need to do. 
and let's share those ideas and not laugh at each other. Let's share and take, cherry pick the best and make the best job we can. Thank you for watching. See you next time.